What's going on everybody, this is Ultima iDevice Vids, and today in this video we're going to check out 5 Cydia Tweaks compatible with iOS 10 for October 2017. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, we have OLEDification. This one's available for $1.99, and it changes up the way that your lock screen looks when you receive notifications. So uh, let me go ahead and send myself a message from the phone over here to the phone here. I'll show you guys how this looks. So basically it kind of mimics an OLED display in the sense that the background is black and it's a very minimal look. It just gives you the name of the application that the notification came from and the icon. You can also slide down on this view to actually receive the notification contents as you can see it right there. So very clean look. It looks great especially if you have a black device because it just kind of blends with the top and bottom. And of course, when the notification times out, as you can see there, it just takes you back to the normal lock screen. So let me go ahead and send myself another notification to show you guys some of the other features this tweak has to offer, or the other gestures, rather. So as you can see right here, you could also go ahead and double tap to open up the notification just like that. You enter your passcode, and it'll go ahead and open it up just like that. Now, uh, I'll just send myself another one. Now, you could also go ahead and tap and hold on this view to just return back to the normal lock screen just like that. So, uh, again, a very nice tweak. Just kind of gives you a nice clean look there for the lock screen notifications. And, of course, after you guys install the tweak, you can jump over to settings and head over to OLEDification. And there's various options to configure. You could pretty much enable or disable all the things that I talked about. Swipe down, double tap, long press. You could also customize how much text shows up on the lock screen if a notification is longer. You could also just change the overall appearance of the way things look. And the grayscale icon, basically, if that's enabled, the icon on the lock screen when you get notification will be black and white if you want it to have color just go ahead and turn that off that was actually enabled for me by default so i had to turn that off manually but uh once again it's called oledification available for one dollar and 99 cents next up we have deny photo albums this tweak will allow you to customize the photos application so this is how the photos application normally looks in ios 10 you have various different albums that apple does not let you delete or hide for example selfies screenshots recently deleted people things like that this tweak will allow you to hide those albums and it will also allow you to just you know have some more customization with some other miscellaneous options over the photos application so let me go ahead and show you guys how to configure this just show my settings go into deny photo albums and the uh, first toggle is just the you know initial normal tweak enable button what that will do is it'll hide things like videos selfies panorama screenshots and so on now of course you can still access those things just through the normal camera roll you just you're, not, you're just not going to have all these subcategories there listed so we're just going to go ahead and enable that there's also some additional features as well so you could hide the people album places album hide my albums hide the recently deleted album now for the recently deleted one it's not going to hide the album it's just going to hide the photos within it but uh, one, one of my personal favorite ones is the last one and that's hide preview photo album what that's going to do is it's going to hide the preview there so you're not going to be able to see without actually opening up a certain album so that's definitely a privacy option so we're just going to go ahead and toggle on all of these here and then we're going to you know may make it take an effect just by killing the photos app and relaunching it as you can see right there, it's taken effect. So basically all the things that we hit are completely hidden. And also notice that there's no preview on the camera roll. It's just completely grayed out. However, of course, if we tap on it, we could actually see the elements in there. But again, if someone's looking over your shoulder and you don't want them to see the last thing that you, you know, took a photo of, that can be a privacy option. Once again, this tweak's called Deny Photo Albums, available for free. Next up, we have Custom Settings Cells. This tweak is free, and it allows you to customize the size of the different cells within the settings application. And basically, cells just means options. So basically, the white bar for each option within the settings, you can customize the size of that bar to go for a cleaner look, or maybe you want it to match a certain theme that you have running on your device. So we're going to go ahead and open up the Custom Settings Cell Preferences. And you have various different options, small cells, bit smaller, smaller, even smaller. So just a lot of fine grain control. There's also an option that that allows you to delete the space in between the cells, which is basically the category separation there. You could delete that if you want to. But we're just going to start out with small cells. We'll toggle that on. And to make this take an effect, we're just going to go ahead and refresh the settings app by killing it and relaunching it. As you can see right there, it did take an effect. So you can see right there, the options are smaller with more space in between. And again, this could go for a cleaner look. And also maybe, you're again, you're trying to match a certain theme with smaller elements to make these elements smaller as well. Let's go ahead and jump back into custom setting cells and we'll make them a little bit smaller. We'll do smaller cells. And I also want to show you the delete space between cells as well. So we'll toggle both of those on and we'll refresh the settings app. And as you can see right there, once again, they're uh, even more small and the category separation is gone. So uh, once again, this tweak is called custom se settings cells available for free. 
Clean Music CC will clean up the music playing interface within the control center. So it takes an effect when music is playing and as you can see right here when music is not playing. So it removes some elements, it removes the top area where it shows you the last app that the music was playing from. Also in the bottom there you can see the devices section is gone. And it just goes for a more cleaner look if you're willing to sacrifice not having those things you know, directly right there within the control center. So uh, once again it takes an effect again as you see here without any music playing and you know if we start to play some music you can see it also takes an effect here as well. So again if, it, if, you're, if you want to go for more of a clean look within this area definitely check this out. Next up we have music smaller alerts please. This is a very small tweak but you know it could definitely help some people out. You know basically what it's going to do is it's going to make the alerts inside the music application when you perform certain actions much smaller. So for example I'm just going to add something to a playlist. You can see right there that alert you know it's much smaller than it normally is. Normally it's humongous. I'll show you guys on a device without the tweak installed. If you see right here, I'm just gonna do the same thing, add a song to a playlist. You can see right there, that alert is humongous. I'm not sure why it's that large, and you know the fact that it's kind of similar to the volume HUD in the sense that it just stays there. If you're constantly curating, managing playlists, it'll be much easier if that's much smaller. But once again, it's called Music Smaller Alerts, please. It's available for free. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for more videos pertaining to City of Tweaks. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter and like it on Facebook. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.